All right, guys, in today's video, we're going to be working on an HP Envy X360 laptop, and we got a problem with the bottom cover. This is a 13-inch model, the uh, AG series, and the problem that we see with this cover here, right, it won't... It won't stay down anymore because the retaining clips have broke off. So inside the aluminum here, there's going to be like a plastic bracket, and that is not retaining. And the problem with that is now with this big opening, we're going to get debris in here that could short out the motherboard, and certainly we have a greater chance of getting moisture and liquid in here to cause corrosion and shorting as well. To get this off is pretty simple. This one is missing the rubber feet that should be covering these screws like you see here. So normally you'd have to remove those rubber feet to access these screws. If we take a look at the service manual for this particular X360 13-inch convertible, and you talk about removing the bottom cover, what they'll tell you to do is shut down the computer, disconnect any external accessories, pull the charger power off, and then remove the two rubber feet. That's these strips I was talking about that normally adhere right in this position on the, both sides. Remove the six Phillips M2 by six screws under those strips, and then they don't mention it in the uh, this part here, but they're all the same. And then remove the two Torx T5 two by four screws in the front. And then starting at the hinges using a pry tool, just remove it. So we're going to pull this off so we can see what the part number is and then we'll end up reversing it to reinstall it. So we'll fast forward through this but we're going to pull off these Phillips screws in all these positions. Okay with those two out of the way then we're going to go after these two T5 Torx screws. Right, and now we've got all the fasteners out, so now we'll be able to pry this off. So we're just going to start on the side that's already compromised from the damage and just work it off the clips that are still working and functional. And that is it, guys. And so with that, we can open this up, and that'll allow us to see what the part number is. Now, you won't be able to order something like this this late in the game from HP directly but it'll give you some information so you can match up to get the right one used. Uh, remember these came in different colors. This particular 13M AG0001DX model, this is like a bronze color. I don't know if it's coming across in the video, but it's like a bronze, a really dark brown bronze color. So if you wanted to keep it matching, we want to get the same one. And then we're also going to replace these strips while we're in here too. I'll put a link in the description to both of these. The strips on this model are black. Other types of NVs might have a silver case, and then they'll have a gray type of strip, so it's all kind of color coordinated. But let me show you the one we got to replace this, and then we'll just reverse it and put it back together. All right, guys, before I was going to take this and clean all this dust off, I noticed that the battery cells here are very puffy. In fact, when you take this cover and you try to put it back on, you see there's a lot of tension popping it back off. Now that's not what resulted in it breaking over on this side over here, but that's definitely not supposed to be like that. So we're going to turn this into a bottom cover and battery replacement video as well. Just grabbing another page out of the manual, removing the batteries, not much more, disconnecting this system cable connector, system uh, board connector, removing four more screws, these M2 by three and a half here, 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 and here, uh, removing the speaker cable from the clips at the bottom of the battery, here and here, and then it just lifts out. So if we take a look at that, here's the system board connector right here. We'll just take our plastic prying tool and get that disconnected. Again, make sure that the computer is powered off, that you've shut down windows, and that you do not have the charging adapter connected anymore. So there's that, and then we'll take these four screws, here's the first one, and they tell you right on the battery where the screws are, so you take the right ones off. This one, the battery um, bracket's actually broken from how it's swelled up there. And then the last screw is right here. And then that cable routing they were talking about is right down here on the bottom. So we just want to work it out from under these little tabs there. If you zoom in here, you can see them. 
there. Come on. That was being a little bit of a pain. There it goes. And then we can let this guy out. And I can see at an angle there how puffy that guy is, right? Not supposed to be like that, it's supposed to be uniformly flat. So we'll grab a new battery for this guy too. So now I can go blow all this dust out of here and then I'll show you the parts we got to do the repair. All right, we got this cleaned up. We've got a new battery here. Now you can't get an HP one anymore. The number, if we take a look at it on the new one, this uh, KC04XL is the number to search by. I'll put a link in the description for this, but it's a reproduction of the HP battery. The actual HP battery would have been this L08496-855, but that's not something you can buy anymore because they've discontinued it. So we'll position this guy in here, just like the old one. There's a little peg here, and there's a little peg right there that has to come through first. And then we're just going to reverse the order. We'll route our speaker cable in first using a plastic tool so that we don't damage anything. Get in there. There we go. One more. Okay. And then we'll replace these four Phillips screws. One. Guy here kind of hid from us. Two, three, yeah, might have probably would have been better to have a slightly smaller screwdriver bit for this particular screw. It'll be fine, just a little bit harder to keep it positioned. And as soon as we get this guy tightened down, I'll show you what we did for the, the cover. All right, so that's all good to go. And then we can work our connector in. Going to get him lined up with the pins first. And then we'll take our tool, the plastic tool again, and we'll push him all the way in until he's fully seated. And I think what we want to do on this is just kind of fold it like that and get it to tuck a little bit underneath the battery like the original one. If we take a look at the original one, they kind of had it folded like that. So you have the clearance to put the cover on. So that's the, the same kind of approach we're trying to get here. We're trying to get it folded over and then get this guy tucked down just like that. All right, now for the cover, we ended up going with a reproduction on that as well, rather than a used one. And you can get these reproduction covers to be identical to the original you know, right down to most of the stickers that are on them. This particular finish was an HP 609-939-001 kind of like a bronze color and this reproduction one has that spot on and then the problem that we had with it holding on this side here I think it's the side here yeah so we can see this clip on our original one is there, but it's broken there. 
And I think there's another one broken over here, right? So we have a couple of these clips broken, which was causing the problem. But now that we have this replacement, and you notice now without having that puffy battery there, right, this guy just lays almost flush without even pushing him into place. But now we'll get him into position, get these guys snapped in, and then we'll replace the screws doesn't matter what order you'd replace them in. And then I'll show you what we're going to do for the feet. And she won't stay fully seated until you get all of these mounting screws back in. Actually, wait, that's our Torx guy on this end. These little ones on the end were the two Torx ones. almost forgot about that. We'll get these Phillips ones in first. Four in the back here. Flip this guy around, make sure that the clips that we have are seating before we get too much tension on these screws. Hopefully we can get our little piece of glove out of there without having to open it back up again. Yeah, no. Nope. I don't know if I want to leave that in there like that. Unfortunately now it's probably going to be on super tight with these new clips. User error. Come on, baby, let go. Let me have that piece of glove back. There we go, all right. Give me the tool back now, okay. All right. Now we can finish putting these in. And since everything is snapped into place, we can go ahead and drive them all the way down. And what we'll do before we put the feed in is we'll just make sure that the new battery is charging okay. All right, so you can see we fixed that problem there, so everything's in place. A couple more clips on the side. And then we've got our little torque screws that go on this end. And this end. It's going to be like new again. And then make sure these are fully seated. Yep. All right. Just going to take a quick look around the perimeter. We want to make sure everything is nice. All the seams are nice. This one here wasn't fully snapped in. Get everything nice and fully snapped in. All right. At this point, we're going to go grab the charger and we're going to see if it takes a charge. All right, so we got the charger now, and we just want to see that we're getting the charge light. So now we'll fire up Windows and make sure that it's charging up to full, and then we'll put the feed on. All right, Windows is charging up just fine, so we'll let it get up to 100%, and then we'll go to the last step. All right, now that we know that our battery is charging okay, um, we've cleaned very lightly with some isopropyl alcohol in here, and these are replacement feet. You don't want to put these on until you're sure everything's okay with the battery in case you have to take this cover back off again. This type of adhesive is super sticky, but you're just going to lay it down in the groove. And 
seated in fully. Now, if you took the original ones off after this many years, I seriously doubt whether they're going to re-adhere. You can try it, but in my experience, once you pull them up to get at these screws, the original adhesive is pretty shot by then. That's assuming you even still have these. The adhesive on here is very susceptible to skin oil, so it's not like you can lay this guy on your lap and get it all sweaty or end up letting go. But these new ones should hold up just fine for desktop use or putting it in your lap if you've got clothes on. But um, the skin oil and sweat attacks this adhesive pretty quickly. So as this guy heats up, he should uh, take very nicely. And that's the end of the repair. I hope this helps you out. Um, battery replacement and bottom cover replacement and bottom cover feet replacement on an HP Envy X360 13-inch convertible. This happens to be the 13AG type series, but that's just a distinction for the color. This is going to be for any of these X360 convertibles that are in the 13-inch size, whether they're this bronze color or some of them come in a silver, and I think there's also like a black, but this should help you out. Uh, last tip I'd give you is if you were trying to attach your original feet, uh, what you want to try using up here is automotive grade trim double stick adhesive, something that's very, very strong. Double stick tape won't cut it. Uh, you probably try something like that in a very thin size from your local auto parts store, and that might do the trick for you. Um, other than that, if you got any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll try to help. If you found this useful in getting yours fixed, then I'd appreciate you leaving thumbs up down there and paying it forward. And as always, thanks for watching.